Hello, Libra. I'm going to do a singles reading today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. If you comment um, in the comment section below, hashtag single. Okay, that's going to get you entered to win a free personal reading. I am giving away one a week for the foreseeable future. And that is how you get entered is if you comment below, like, share, subscribe, and comment, hashtag single. Okay. Also, if you would like to book a personal reading, I'm doing $10 off right now. Shoot me an email. We'll get you set up and get you booked. We're having a lot of fun doing those. Um, so what else? This is a general read. It, it's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. If it's not your story, don't force it. Check your other placements, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Cross watchers, welcome. Okay. I certainly shuffled these cards very, very well off camera. Um, they're very slick, so they get away from me. So I never know when they're just going to go shooting across the room. So trust that they are well shuffled. All right, Libra. What's Libra need to know? What do my Libra singles need to know? Libra singles. Okay. All right. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Well, there you are. Large and in charge right there. Justice. Okay. Well then, first out, we have the two of cups. Beautiful. The three of wands. Beautiful. The three of cups. Strength. The Empress, the World, the Ace of Cups, gorgeous, gorgeous. The Seven of Swords, not so gorgeous, but don't stress, don't stress. The Ten of Wands, and the Star, gorgeous. All right, we've got, what do we got? We've got one, two, three, four major arcana. I've got some, some big energy. With the fifth major arcana, you, right on the bottom of the deck. All right, Libra. All right, at the very center of this read, we've got the world, right? Successfully completing a cycle, leveling up, starting a whole new cycle. Um, so there's several things that we could be going on, right? We do have this two of cups energy that, that you have potentially been waiting on to come to you, right? Could be a reconciliation, okay? A strong connection. Um, this card of Libra here, or Libra, sorry, this card of Leo here with the strength certainly could be a very strong connection. There could be a lot of uh, magnetism, a lot of, you know, pull, gravitational pull towards you. All right, let's find out. What is this two of cups for my Leos? Two of cups, two of cups for my Leos. Not Leos, Libras. Good Lord, people. Just thinking about the strength card. It's going to be okay. Let me take a breath. Let me take a drink. Okay. Two of cups for my Libras. Libra. <laughs> Six of Swords. It's going to be coming your way, sneaking up on you almost. Hierophant tried to pop out. This could be something that's sneaking up on you, and I'm not really sure why I'm feeling it that way, but that's how I'm feeling it. Yeah, Six of Wands. There could be somebody coming um, towards you very confident about what they want, not coming quickly, but you also may not see this person coming, right? I mean, it's almost like even if you're looking, it's like it had to be the right time for this to happen. And, and, it, and it must be because we have this world card here right in the center, okay? Keep in mind, we are in Mercury retrograde, okay? So sometimes the past sneaks up on us, but... Waiting for your ships to come in, waiting on this opportunity to come in. Yeah, communication, passionate communication from somebody that you may not have seen coming, but they're confident and they know what they want. Yeah, so they have gone through a burdensome cycle. We've got the 10 of wands down here also. 
Um, it also could have been a burden. You could be, you know, laying down a burden, starting a new cycle, but I feel like they are, um, they've gone through something burdensome. They've disconnected from that. They've laid the, those burdens down and they're coming towards you, telling you what they want. And with this three of cups, it could be a reconciliation. It's, I mean, I don't make the rules guys. We're in mercury retrograde. Okay. This is also a card of happiness. This may very well bring you a lot of happiness. What is this three of cups for Libra? Two of Cups, so you're going to be happy about this reconnection or happy about this connection, however it comes. About the Two of Cups twice. Yep, coming right towards you. A lot of communication, a lot of back and forth about this. All right, the strength card could be a Leo, could have a Leo in your chart. Um, but regardless, this is um, trusting the universe within this connection, right? It's also, you know, that being drawn towards that animal magnetism, right? Courage of conviction. This person may be very, very clear about what they want. Okay, guys. This is a strong, 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 strong connection. I clarify, there's 78 cards in the deck, guys, okay? For you math whizzes, I don't even know what that is. I'm not good at math, okay? I, um, this connection is strong for both people, okay? This is not something that, um, that, that they take lightly. This is big, strong energy coming in, okay? Wow. They are very drawn to you. Okay. Libra, you are single. I'm doing this reading for you. This is you. Okay. This is a strong connection. They are drawn to you like a force of nature. Wow. You know, that nine of pentacles is the pre empress. They may see you as their empress. They may want to start a new cycle with you, right? Have this new beginning in love with you. Wow. You're stressing me out. I'm stressed out. Okay. The Empress. What is this Empress for Libra? Yeah. They want to invest. They've been thinking about you. The seven of pentacles can be about planning for the future, planning this harvest, right? All of these things coming to fruition, what they want to do with their gains. But, you know, the empress also um, is a nurturer. The, the empress talks about, you know, the ability to um, create life, nurture life. This is using these, these, you know, these crops, these things that you've planted that have come to fruition on this, this empress wanting to, wanting to spend time with you, wanting to be with you, really thinking about you a lot. Yeah, they've held on to you for a long time. This person was, you didn't, you may, you know, this person was in a different way, in a different energy, in a different thing for a long time, but they held on to you the entire time. All right, the world. So we have successful completion of a cycle. Renewal, a new cycle beginning, a new beginning in love with that Ace of Cups right next to it. King of Wands could be, you know, could be have um, some fire in their chart, but the King of Wands is, I see it, I want it, it's mine. They're going after this new beginning in love, this new cycle with you, okay? And the King of Wands doesn't give up until he gets what he wants. He just doesn't. King of Swords. So this is kind of a double whammy here. This King of Wands, King of Swords energy, um, he's bringing his A game. He is ready to battle this out. He's going to get what he wants. He's he's thought about it a lot. He's being very logical, very tactical, um, planning for this, plotting for this. And the King of Swords wins, right? The King of Wands gets what he wants and the King of Swords wins. This is a double whammy coming right at you. Certainly could be an air sign or a fire sign. This could be the two people involved. This could be you, Libra, right? 
speaking very honestly, knowing what you want, this could be this person. The two of you starting a new cycle, two kings, two queens, doesn't matter what the what the what the gender is. That's not it's not a deal with tarot. Okay, whatever you are. Double whammy though, that's you know, a lot of energy, a lot of energy. And it's being directed towards this ace of cups, this new beginning in love. You know, this is the universe extending, um, you know, allowing there to be the energy for this connection, for this new beginning. There is a chance for this to take place, right? Seven of cups. You may have dreamed about this for a long time, or they may have. But now it's shifting into focus. It's becoming a reality. Yeah, here's their offer. A very real offer. Wow. All right, seven of swords. I do not feel like this is sneaky. I mean, I'm not sure what it is. What is this seven of swords? I don't feel sneaky, though. What is this seven of swords? Judgment. Certainly could be a reconciliation. I don't make the rules. Don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot anybody, but don't shoot the messenger. You know, they could have been deceptive in the past or betrayed you in the past or lied to you in the past, whatever, whatever that was on any level, big or small, whatever it is. And now they want a second chance. Now they want to, um, you know, they're coming back around for this. Yeah, they're going to tell you the truth. They've cut out that behavior, that energy, and they're going to tell you the truth. So this 10 of wands, you know, it may be weighing very heavily on you, um, worried that they may still be in this relationship or whatever. Um, I think you're going to find out very quickly that they're not. But this is also, again, this is completion of a cycle and a new cycle getting ready to begin. Yeah. Ending this heartbreak, third party betrayal, whatever it was, whatever, whatever it was for you. It's weighed heavily on both of you for a long time. Um, this could have been when they walked away the first time, but they may very well have walked away from a third party where you got your heart broken, right? Now we have this beautiful star energy, card of Aquarius. This is um, getting healing to this connection. This is your destiny. This is your wish. And the universe is, is, this is big energy, like your stars aligning, right? King of Cups could be with a water sign. But it's somebody who's mastered their emotions. They're emotionally intelligent. They're able to articulate and tell you how they feel and what they want. They're not keeping you out of the loop. They're coming to you honestly with their feelings and wanting this new beginning. Yeah, wanting a new beginning. What did I just say? You can't make that up. A new beginning in love. There's the Ace of Cups again. So here we are, Libra. I feel like this is you in your in your highest, best energy, right? Finally receiving um, balance in your life. Getting some healing. Potentially getting a comeback from this, you know, with this person wanting to reconcile and really work on it. They are coming in wanting to win. I see it. Uh, okay, great. So now we have, okay, we've got the King of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Emperor now. Okay. We had the Empress. So now we've got the Emperor and the Empress, and he's playing to win. He ain't messing around. He wants this reconciliation, and he is going to have it going to fight for it. Coming right towards you. A wish fulfillment. All right, Libra, that's what I have for you. I hope it resonates. Let me know in the comments. Hashtag single. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget that I have $10 off. If you want to book a personal reading, just shoot me an email. It is in the description box below. And I'm sending you tons of love and light. Until next time.